What is the magical people? Manny the Mage here, and today we're going to be testing every form of magic against every single boss in Valheim and seeing which form of magic is effective against which boss, as well as finding out if we can fight every single boss in Valheim strictly using magic. This video is another episode of my long running series where I test different creative mode concepts in Valheim. So if you end up being interested in today's video, be sure to hit that like button and you might as well subscribe to see more videos like this. But with that said, if you're ready to see if magic is a viable option against every single boss in this game, Stay tuned and I'll catch you soon. So here we are located at the very first shrine for the very first boss, Aethir. Um, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know we have been here several times before. But as you can see in my hand, um, it is the most interesting spell that I've seen from the new update here. And um, with the addition of blood magic, let's go ahead and raise up a little skeleton army here. So who do we have? We have Alvar and, and Gerda. Nice to meet you guys. Um, but I figured we would test out what I would say is the weakest magic um, against the weakest boss in the game. Um, but before we actually get into it, I did go ahead and give myself level oh 100 God. blood magic and level 100 elemental magic. So I don't know. Um, from what I understand, these are just normal skeletons. They're not necessarily any more, um, any more powerful than normal skeletons, as far as I understand. But maybe with that level 100 blood magic, we'll see like a real difference here. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and get it activated here. Also, something to keep in mind, guys, throughout today's video, I'm going to leave it on God mode. Um, that's just because we're really trying to just see the damage output and not necessarily, you know, watch me get watch me get clapped. So yeah, we'll be engaging in this fight, um, but we're really just trying to see, you know, how deadly these magics are. So let's go ahead and get this boy summoned here. The sacrifice is made. He's uh, he's showing up here. Now, I really just want to see if these skeletons are, you know, any more deadly than normal skeletons. Oh, there they go. And I called blood magic weak. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me making a mistake there. Oh, defend me. Defend me. Let's see. Is he going to get him? There we go. That's my boy. Um, but that was pretty fast. That was just about as fast as I expected. So, um, oh, Grayling. You guys gonna tussle? Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, with that boss out of the way, I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next boss for today's video, which should be the Elder. I'll catch you guys in one second here. And here we are at the Elder Boss Shrine. Um, and the magic I'm gonna be trying out this time around is going to be Fire Magic, the Staff of Embers here. I'm um, just because I want it should be effective, right? Like that would make sense. That feels like a, a five headed strategy there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get him summoned here and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna just use one staff, so. Oh, I get him burning up here. Oh, wait, I do have I do have some magic potion. Let me get that equipped real quick. Was he on fire? Oh, I thought he was just gonna gonna burn out. Let's launch some more of this. And there he goes. <laughs> wow. So I figured the magic would make it easy, um, but this is specifically easy. I should also mention that I have each of these staffs fully upgraded. It's just crazy how quickly with the right form of magic we were able to just destroy the elder. So I think with that battle out of the way, um, it is on to the very next one, which should be bone mass. So Catch you guys in one sec here. All right, so here we are at Bone Mass. I do still have the ballistas up, so uh oh oh okay. And you guys are you guys are feeling froggy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear out all these, and then we'll get started. So give me one sec. Three hours later. Okay, here we go. So we've got everything cleaned up here. I think for this boss we're gonna use Frost because if I remember correctly, he's weak against it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get those offerings thrown in there, and uh, get this fight started. Uh, so the sacrifice has been made. Let me see here. Where's he going to be at? He's hiding. He's scared. I can tell. All right, the mass is moving. Ooh, okay. So let's get that let's get that ice going. Already we're shredding right through him. Look at that damage output. Look at that damage output. He hasn't got a single attack off on us yet. I'm going to go ahead. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. Keep it going. Oh, can I dodge that? Hold. Keep it going. Oh, okay. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. That's a little gross. Get rid of these guys real quick. Oh! So we just need our magic to refill here, and then we're at the very last chunk of health, baby. It really does feel like these- Oh! Oh, smack me! These earlier bosses were definitely not made for magic. There we go. The mass is moving no longer. Um, now he does have some enemies left behind, probably, right? You have some skeletons? What's up, guys? 
All right, there we go. Okay, so that was also pretty easy. Um, I figured these first three bosses would be pretty easy with magic. Um, but this next boss here, I don't know how it's going to go, honestly. I'm not even sure that this boss is really weak against any of the elements we have so far. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, that is Motor in the Mountains. So I'll catch you guys in just one second. All right, here we are in the mountains at the summoning spot for Motor here. Um, I'm not too certain off the top of my head what Motor is weak against. Um, but I am going to go ahead and put some protection on me. Um, just because I feel like she's going to hit hard, um, and I feel like if you guys were playing this with God Mode off, you would probably do the same thing. And I want to see, you know, how easily she can wear down this bubble here. Um, but with that put on here, we're going to go ahead and get that sacrifice made and get the fight started. Um, now, it'll be interesting to see. I know she's a flying enemy, and I wonder if because this is a projectile, I can maybe uh, catch her in the air. But we will see. Where is she showing up? Can I hit her? I'd have to lead it like crazy. Let me see, does that hit? Almost. I could probably do that. Looks like fire is already pretty effective. Let me get some MP uh, potion going on here. Ooh. The only thing about the fire magic that I'm noticing so far is that it's a little bit... um. You know, her charge is just a little slow. So she's probably going to end up taking flight before I can get a few shots off here. Oh, hello, Stone Golem. You'd like to join the fight now, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you love to see that? Is fire, is fire useful against you? Oh my goodness. And see guys, this is why I think I wanted God Mode on. Let me go ahead and zoom over to Motor. Hey, can you guys fight each other please? Leave me out of this. Alright, let me go ahead and use up the potion here real quick. And she's taking flight. Love to see that. So I think the strategy is going to be waiting until she's flying. Uh, and then I can rebuild my mana that way. Oh, a hatchling. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you want to you wanna join the fight now too. We're almost there, a few shots off. I think that's the last shot, and Motor is in tears. There we go. All right, and that is one more boss down in our gauntlet today. That was surprisingly easy. I thought Motor would be sort of the roadblock, um, but with our favorite Frost Dragon out of the way today, it is on to the very next boss in Valheim, which many of you should know is Yagaluth. So here we are at the Yagaluth Shrine. Off the top of my head, I think, I figure Yagaluth is going to be weak against Ice. Um, I'm also going to start the fight and put a protection thingy on me, just to kind of see how long that lasts in the grand scheme of things. But we'll go ahead and get him activated now. Let's put that protection barrier on us while we're here. So Frost is not the most effective against him. Ooh. Not the most effective. So far, the best thing about the Ice Staff that I'm liking is the distance that it covers. Like, I think I can still hit him from all the way over here. So that's pretty sound. As long as I'm dodging the meteors and dodging uh, this fire blast and all that, I think this is pretty viable. All right, let's just keep on, keep on blasting him. Whoa, whoa. All right, I'm on fire. Love to see it. All right, so we have him a little, a little less than halfway. We're slowly chunking at that final fourth of his health bar. Oh, there's some fullings who've decided to join the battle too. Yagluth, you're kind of a cheater. <laughs> Something about this is definitely uh, fulfilling my, uh, my calling as Mandy the Mage. We're on the last little section of health now here. Oh, 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 oh. That's fine, let's get him out of here. Get him out of here. There we go, there we go. So I figured the queen is probably going to be the one that takes me the most time. 
Um, but still, I think we were able to uh, to speed through Yakluth. I think a battle that would have normally took me like an hour only took me like 10 minutes. So, But with Yagluth out of the way, it is time for the final boss in the game, being the queen. We have some fullings. Hello, sir. I'm, I'm recording a video, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. But I'll catch you guys in one second here. All right, so here is the altar. Um, I think I want to go ahead and try to summon up some friends to help with this. Uh, let's get these guys going real quick. I don't know how much it's going to help, but, you know, it'll be something. We're going to go ahead and get protection on all these boys. And I figure fire is probably the way to go, so we'll go ahead and offer up the sacrifice. All right, yep, here she is. Queen wants it all. It's crazy how uh, how nothing this this magic damage is. She summoned some of the seekers and we switched to frost. Is one of our skeleton boys down? No. Oh no. I think we already lost a skeleton boy. It's just Sigrid left. And I have no idea where the queen even is. It's it's foggy. It's dense. Oh, oh, Helga, there you are. You scared me. But where's the queen at? I think I'm gonna fly around a little bit just so I can find her at least or something. Oh, there she is. There she goes. Maybe I should have brought a wisp in here, perhaps. Let's do a strategic retreat real quick, guys. Strategic retreat. One eternity later. All right. Well, I'm back from my strategic retreat. Um, I, I, I didn't I didn't learn much out of it. Still can't really see. Let me see if I can drop down some torches real quick. Okay, here we go. I'm staying flying. Because if you're going to burrow and cheat and summon people, I'm going to cheat too. Yep. Yep. This is how we're doing it. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, try to steadily get out her health real quick. Alright, let me see, is fire any better? I can't tell if fire's any better than frost, frankly. At least the fire lingers a little bit, so there's some extra damage to be had out of there. This is fighting in the darkness right now, um, but we're at the last little quarter of health. Um, so let's go ahead and try to keep her pushing. Hopefully she doesn't burrow. All right, here she is. I think this is going to be the last volley of fire here. And there we go. Long live the queen. So that, um, that definitely went way faster uh, than when we tried to fight her with the ballistas. And to be fair, I think if I wasn't flying, if I didn't have the ability to track her, um, I wouldn't have uh, made this fight so fast. But I definitely needed to be able to fly because, uh, you know, like, 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 look at this, look at this. And I just wasn't able to put down as many torches as they could knock down. So if you guys know about that, let me know in the comment sections down below. Um, but with that, it looks like we have officially beaten the last boss in Valheim here. So let's go ahead and exit. So with that, it looks like we have come to the end of today's video. That is another successful experiment, in my opinion, logged into the books here. Um, we were able to see sort of the damage output for each form of magic and how effective it was against each boss. So if you guys liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, you might as well subscribe for more content like this. Uh, but with all that said, I've been Mandy the Mage, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.